On the campaign trail in 2006, then-Senator Joe Biden landed in hot water for a remark he made about Indian Americans in his home state of Delaware. The largest growth in population is Indian Americans moving from India. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So fully, I'm not joking. In a flash, the media branded it as racist and stereotypical. There are, of course, Indian Americans in all professions. They didn't play the front end of that. Biden backpedaled. But the truth is, people whose families originally came from India, Pakistan, and elsewhere in South Asia are boosting the success of the Dunkin' Donuts franchise. In Biden's state of Delaware, almost half of the Dunkin' franchises are owned by South Asian immigrants. And in Illinois, it's a whopping 80 percent. That's where we went to find out why. You just had a coffee? Yes. Vishal Shah, a second-generation Dunkin' Donuts owner in Chicago, now has six stores. His parents joined the chain in the early 1970s, when the 9,500 store giant was a tenth that size. My dad invested some money, scraped together, borrowed from friends and family, and scraped together an investment to get into the business. Ironically, the family didn't know the first thing about the product they were about to sell, according to Shah's mother, Usha. Did they have donuts in, in India? No. They no. didn't? No, we don't. When Sam Panjwani first came from Bangladesh, he didn't even like coffee. Now, 60% of Dunkin' sales. I don't like coffee by nature because we are used to drinking tea back home. Panjwani was an engineer, but when his firm relocated, close friends encouraged him to change course. I happened to choose Dunkin' because my friends went to Dunkin'. Once I got into it, I learned how to do it. My wife was heavily involved in that. She worked long hours with me, and without her help, I, I certainly would have probably quit. That's my family, me, my wife. Both of my sons are involved, Amin and Ali. So is my son of my older brother and the son of my other brother. Extended family members were soon an important piece of the success formula. All my brothers are into business. But they didn't stop there. Many helped finance other members of the community. We always want to see others prosper. In fact, we have, uh, I believe the count is eight or ten former employees who are now Dunkin' Donuts franchisees themselves who have their families involved in the business. Today, it's the American-born and educated children who are entering and expanding the family business. And you saw Nigel Travis is Dunkin's CEO. The second generation is a group that's more retail-oriented. They're into the systems. They're into the guest service. They're into managing the business. Many of them have been to business school. We went from a mom and pop style of business to more of a corporate thought process, more of a network thought process. Panjwani's sons, Amin and Ali, helped computerize the management system with Duncan's encouragement. They came to us and said, you know, today you have three stores, and tomorrow do you see yourself having 10 stores? And how would you run those 10 stores? Dad and Amin used to drive around everywhere to pick up information. Now we've got servers, they can get online easily. Today, the Panjwani family owns 23 stores and plans to grow. Regardless of ethnicity, 90% of the newest stores are open by current franchisees. One donut from start to finish is um, about an hour. Vishal Shah and two partners decided they could increase efficiency by building a centralized baking facility. It's an opportunity to say, okay, this little segment will focus on just making donuts and doing it right. Beautiful looking, fresh donuts. Good morning, how can we help you? America may run on Duncan, but Duncan runs on the American dream. Only in this country could he do something like that, where he could come from, from very little and build a lot, and not only build a lot, but create something that he can give to his children, that his children can give to their children, and that was the dream. We now have third generation franchisees, uh, and I'm excited about that. Pay? Pay to the order of... Good. Right here? Yep. Do you think your daughter is going to follow in your footsteps? She's eight, so she loves the idea of donuts. Um, I will encourage her to do what she wants to do. I'd like to see her do it because it's a successful business. Franchises are a big part of our lives, whether it's eating a burger, drinking a cup of coffee, or finding a warm bed while away from home.
For those who choose to go behind the counter and own a franchise, there's potential for huge rewards. But it is not without risk, and there are certainly no guarantees. For all of us here at CNBC, I'm Darren Rovell. Thanks for watching.